Hello my beautiful friends, good afternoon, welcome back again on my YouTube channel Ivana Tero. Okay, so today you will find out who loves you, how do you feel for you or who is coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, this is for you, okay. Two cards already fell down but I need three cards to start with. I will show you, don't you worry. I need another card. In the meantime, if you want to schedule a private reading, find below in the description box all info. Also, try not to forget, please like and subscribe. Alrighty, so let's start. Let me show you three cards. Let me show you one by one. What is this? Playfulness. This is nice. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, I think this is very, very specific message, especially for you, Earth signs. So I'm asking you at the very beginning of this video, are you playful? Can you be playful? Can you stay playful? Maybe you have a lot of you know, things on your mind, so maybe you have a worry of some kind, you know, thinking, you know, those, you know, days. So my cards, my cards are saying, first of all, stay playful. If you're single, being playful will help you to attract, you know, someone new. Pay attention to the red flags. Oh my. The sign are cautioning you. Okay, maybe you notice, you know, something is not right, you know, with a particular person your person, your partner, or maybe someone new in your midst. So think, you know, what exactly this, you know, could mean. And the third one, I will explain, don't you worry, I will explain. Healing family issues. What is going on, Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorn, you know, inside of your family? If you want, type your comment. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Oh, my. Maybe you can't continue with your love life. Maybe there is, you know, some, you know, problem, commotion, some depth between you and your parents. So your previous life could be affected with your family. Could be something from an early childhood, some not or, you know, something. So it looks like you need to deal, you know, with, with this. So I think this is usually about, you know, forgive me or forgive them before you can move on so some of you maybe you know maybe you're dealing with a person who is too playful maybe you're dealing with a person who do not want to commit to you of course nobody want to be in not committed relationship so Tauruses, Virgos and Capricorns uh, you know if you feel this person can't commit to you and if you think you have a pattern then honey leave you know stop wasting your time now we will find out what exactly this person want to say to you marriage is on my mind lately so okay you will find a way how to forgive how to move on and it looks like this person want to marry you so it looks like this person will commit to you even though i can't lie to you you know i think when you met this person or maybe you will just about you know to meet person who is very playful, maybe not very committal person. So you need to make up your mind right now, right at the beginning, how long you want to wait on such a person. Couple of weeks, couple of months, or even couple of years. Maybe this person will set, listen, I just I just, you know, exit, you know, from a serious relationship. I can't talk about, you know, commitment and marriage right now doesn't have to be a red flag I mean at the very beginning you know but for some of you just might be so if you feel you need to wait like you know five years you know for this person to commit to you then most likely you will leave but maybe this person is just you know afraid you know let's say you have your wounds you need to understand you know other people also have their wounds as well okay so still I can see a good sign marriage is on my mind lately maybe you will recognize this story 
maybe on a couple of months or let's say a year you know with this person and maybe you can recognize like you know this person at the beginning was like you know very you know uncommittal like but now i think this person is changing you are always on my mind Tauruses, virgos and capricorns it looks like you don't need to worry that much right i thought with the pay attention you know red flag you know family family you know issues you know i thought you are in some state of you know disaster or maybe some commotion like big problems but it looks like it's not so let me see another oracle then i'll show you cards and i will change my decks twice okay so i'm using four different decks there you go and there you go hold my hand and never let go of me never let go of me so it looks like you know could be a serious relationship with this person who might be or uh, maybe you outgrown at the beginning of your relationship uh committal issues uh could be even yours committal issues right but usually this is not how it goes you know by my own experience Capricorn Virgo Taurus are very committal, uh, you know, uh, people. So, okay, let me show you cards before I change my deck. There you go. Okay. There you go. Alrighty. Now I will add even two more messages from this deck because I want to give you, you know, a lot of info. Family. So we can see men, we can see women, we can see two children. Marriage is on my mind lately. So there you go. Hold my hand and never let go. Maybe you are already married. You know, maybe you're not single, maybe you're married. Still, maybe you have some family issues. But I think you are dealing with your family issues. I don't think you are turning your blind eye on the problems. I don't think you're putting problems under the carpet under the rag uh, i think you are dealing with issues any type of issues so i think you have a great chances to have a real good love life even prosperity so even prosperity is in your reading your family will experience prosperity you as a person prosperity so as usual, you're very serious people, as usual, down to earth. And both of you, when you when you deal, you will you will deal successfully with those problems. And both of you as a couple, then you can allow yourself to be more playful. Let's say now if you have a lot of problems, you can't be playful, you know, as much because you have you know some some things you know to deal with could be career, could be family issues, could be something about your kids, if you already have, you know, children, could be anything, you know, at all. So, all in all, I think this week, this month, most likely this year as well, could be very good, you know, for you. So, let me add three cards from this deck, and then I will make my final verdict. Alrighty, what we have... Ten of Swords. You can't escape problem. You can't escape, you know, dealing and healing, you know, these family issues. So you can't act like you don't know, you don't see. You can't act like you know, this is not your concern, you know, or whatever. So you need to deal uh, with problems. You can't escape. We all have problems. I have my problems. You have your problems, your person, your partner, your family, right? We all have our problems. But I don't think anybody will live. I don't think so. Even though Ten of Swords usually talks about ending, I don't think because you have two beautiful um, spread in front of you, I don't think anyone, anybody is, nobody is living. Believe me, nobody. Six of Swords. Now, when I connect... Ten of Swords and Six of Swords, I can see clearly any type of healing or dealing with the family issues will be resolved. Six of Swords means finding solution. So you will find solution. 
maybe you have communication issues with your person so you will deal you know with those you know issues and you will talk you know with your partner uh, and you will explain to one another what you what you want to hear what you don't want to hear whatever you want to say whatever you have on your mind you will clearly you will clearly you know express you know how how you feel so if you are married watching this video your marriage could be on the verge to some red flag some danger but then you will decide to fight for your spouse if you're still single since we have ten of swords and six of swords um, with this Mars planet still in a retrograde motion in the sign of Gemini you need to be careful what you are saying you know the way how you talk with people in generally speaking and how you talk with your person also I think there's a person who is almost charging at you let's say you want to have you know more peace let's say you want to do something else not just you know dealing you know with love you know um, problems and you know your love life you know so you need to explain to this person listen I have family issues I can't give you myself 100 you know percent even though this you know story could be vice versa as well major kind of judgment is showing you this is like almost like now or never so don't don't pressure yourself and don't allow other people to put a big pressure on you some perception is changing between the two of you both of you are becoming much more stronger now let me tell you one thing you know with this ten of swords you know uh what ain't gonna kill you will make you stronger so your relationship is getting stronger and stronger so let me show you once again marriage is on my mind lately and hold my hand please never let go of me so you see i think all in all this person have a good intention generally speaking but i can see couple of you know issues going on between the two of you but let me tell you especially if you're a little bit you know younger this is normal because we all have our issues every single one of us so don't you worry about that now i think i've forgotten to mention uh who is going to be if you're single this person most most likely this is uh your sign taurus virgo capricorn but also i think libra gemini or an aquarian if you're still single pay attention so i explain to you uh everything comment like share subscribe or schedule private reading find info in my description box see you soon see you soon again god bless bye